questions about bed bugs because I'm an urban entomologist and I have all the answers for you. Unfortunately, sometimes we get bed bugs when we don't know we have them and so I want to teach you how to identify them and what kind of signs and symptoms you may have when dealing with bed bugs. So what is a bed bug? A bed bug is an insect that feeds on the blood of humans. Now, it's important to note that not every bug you may find in your bed will be a bed bug, but bed bugs are typically the shape and size of an apple seed or smaller. They are not microscopic, so you can see them with the human eye. They may be a variety of stages, a variety of colors, and that's really based on their age and if they're hungry or fed. Bed bugs are an oval shape and they're a reddish brown color. When they are fed, they are a dark, deep red because they're engorged with blood. Now, though bed bugs do feed on the blood of humans, they do not live on the human body. So they will rest and digest close to where their hosts sleep. So anywhere in your home that has a bed or a cot or a couch or a recliner that someone spends a lot of time may be a habitat that will be where the bed bugs are harboring. So that's usually in a crack or a crevice or a seam or a tuft of a mattress or a couch cushion. So these are things we don't want in our home. And a lot of times they're hidden, so there's not any evidence of them unless you know what to look for. If it is a bed bug infestation, you'll want to look around your room where anyone is sleeping and look for signs. So those signs are going to be fecal stains, which will look like dark ink spots. So bed bugs feed on the blood of humans, and so they'll actually excrete dark digested blood that looks kind of like a Sharpie. And those marks can be on the furniture, they can be on the bed sheets, they can be on books, they can be on any type of surface. You just need to know what to look for. If it's dried blood, if you take a, like a wet Q-tip or something and rub it and it rubs off, then it may be bed bug feces. Another sign of bed bugs would be seeing live bugs moving around or some shed exoskeletons. So bed bugs are insects and they need to shed their skins to uh, grow and develop. And so you may see these little things that look like popcorn uh, shells around and that could be a sign of bed bugs as well. Eggs are very, very small, but bed bugs lay their eggs pretty much where they hide. So it's not gonna be somewhere you may see, but they're tiny little white eggs. And these are all going to be in the same place where they're hiding. Bed bugs do not have wings, so how do they get around? Well, we actually as humans transport them around and we don't know we do because they are hitchhikers and they're experts at that. So because they harbor or live close to where we sleep, they can easily climb on to our clothing that we may have piled up on the floor that we're shoving in a suitcase or in a bag or a backpack on our books and then we move them to different locations. So hotels are a place that we may be able to pick them up or when we buy used furniture, they may be hiding in those cracks and crevices. You may wake up and find some welts on your body. You can't necessarily attribute this to a bed bug bite because we can't diagnose what has bitten you based on a skin reaction. So that's why it's important to have a specimen. Bed bugs don't transmit diseases to humans, but they are really annoying and it's not something you're going to want to have. Please check out our second video that will show you what you can do if you do find a bed bug infestation, how to manage and prevent bringing bed bugs into your home.